isn't easy. Dedicating yourself to an ideal, the physical toll it takes on your body, risking your life at a moment's notice, knowing that if you mess up, it could literally be the end of the world. That's the easy part. I mean, that's what we live for. The rush of defeating a villain, the thrill of shooting a perfect arrow, and there's nothing, I mean nothing, better than saving the world. It's after the life and death part, the downtime, the regular stuff, getting stuck in traffic, going to the gym, doing your taxes, all the stuff you find boring, we find really, really boring. Like imagine, one day, you're fighting the clone army, jumping off the buildings, and firing explosive arrows. And just when you think you've saved the day, you find a bomb, a huge city-ending nuclear bomb. And look, there's only 30 seconds left until it goes off. And so here I am doing my best to dismantle it, and I'm really just guessing because I've never done this before. So I'm furiously cutting wires, green, blue, then green again. And then I look at the timer, 10, 9, Eight, I've done everything right. It should be working, but it's not. And the clock keeps ticking. Seven, six, five. And I'm thinking to myself, I need to change for this. Four, three, two. And then, in a split-second decision, I reach in while a handful of wires and it works. It really shouldn't have worked, but it worked. I looked at the timer, and there was one second left. One second, can you believe it? I'm the man, I mean, my gosh. It'd be it's such, such a rush. rush. And the next day, you're folding laundry. You're just a gal with a bow and arrow, folding laundry. It could drive a person nuts. So you spend your next day searching for that high again. That wonderful feeling we get when we see someone in danger, and we get to save them. But most days, it never comes. Don't fear, Aquaman's here. Did you guys do story again without me? Like 
my chair. Fine. Look, Holt, you need to keep better records of your business expenses. I mean, if you at least had a checking account, it'd be a lot easier to keep track of your... Holt? Hey! Do you have a phone number or email you can? 
Just tell him to look for my sign, okay? That's how people get in touch with Batman! Okay, I'll tell him to look for sign. Is he gone yet? Yeah. Wow, what's wrong with Batman? I think he's just bored. Has been way back for months now. He probably just doesn't know what to do with himself. Huh. Well, he should get a hobby or something. Submerged in water, a police officer might be more useful. 
Do you have a phone? No. You know, they're not very waterproof. Right! Well, I gotta go. Go up and get your first back, ma'am. Ooh, suck a Joanna coin. All right, it's a good day for Aquaman. Well, these days, 
Yeah, but that's a good thing, right? Yeah, it's just hard to turn off sometimes. Well, I gotta get back to work. Remember, if you need me. Look for your signs. The back signal. No? Yeah. How exactly did you not get me in contact with you? I never understood that. Just look for the signs. Just do it. Okay, yeah, fine. Yeah, he just he like three times. Like every time he goes to the doctor. I really hope Crime goes up soon. Yeah, I guess I do too. Nice place. The community sound good, don't you think? Hmm. These internet dates are so awkward, don't you think? Let's cut to the shape. Look, everyone these days is just so concerned about who's a good guy, who's a bad guy. Can we all just be superpowered beings who want things? Like, you want all peace. Good for you. More power to you. I want to enslave the human race. Um, uh, how are you going to do that? Well, um, first, I'll build metal pyramids, put up the existing Egyptian pyramids, which then I'll use my natural telekinetic ability to, you know, control when and how black holes are the dimension of the universe. Oh. You never mentioned that on your profile. Yeah, I know that might encounter you wanting world peace and all, but trust me, once I enslave the humans, they're going to be very peaceful. <coughs> Not peaceful ones will be eliminated, of course. I don't have time for that. I've got a universe to rule, am I right? I can already tell I don't think this is going to work out. Too much too soon? You're probably right. Lovely to meet you, Spider-Man. I'm sure it passed across again. Oh my gosh! I'm sorry, are you? No, I'm not Batman. No, no, of course you're not. You don't have a towel. You've got your trademark back on your own That's right. Oh my gosh, I love you guys. Iron Man, the Hulk, Captain A, Thor. Yeah, they're all mighty heroes. Can we get it? Can we get a table? Oh, of course. Don't get me wrong, you're great too, with your super strength, flying, eyeballs at zoom. Uh, no. What do you mean, no? I don't have super strength. Or anything you just said. You can't fly? No. Are you sure? I'm sure I can't fly. Really? So, you just, what? You have a bow and arrow? That's it, no powers? Yeah. Well, if you consider being the world's best marksman, not a power, then, yep, just a gal with a bone arrow. Look, I'm not gonna be like a jerk or anything, but I kinda don't consider that a power compared to like Iron Man. Well, I have arrows that can do all sorts of things. Yeah, that's cool, I guess. Look, I didn't ask for this. It's my wrong. <coughs> and all I wanna do is eat a sandwich. Oh! Of course. I'll give you some time with the menu. Coffee? Sure. So, I've been trying to freeze the Earth's core to bring about a new ice age. That's a really good idea. I know. So what have you been up to? Death Ray. No? Yeah, but it's a bad Death Ray. Oh, congrats then. Thank you. <laughs> it was this nice. I just want to be noticed. Yeah, I have a lot to offer. I know, we both do. I know, I just wish people would notice. Which was mass hitting, they would notice. You think? Maybe. Well, what if being bad is a bad idea? Why do you say that? I don't know, because that's what everyone else says? No one says that. Well, what about karma and the golden rule? Oh, and popular opinion. Don't listen to that. I guess. We're doing the right thing. We'll show them all. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at? Is there a problem? Look, the bow and arrow, it's just not powers. Look. I did my part too. I can stand on top of buildings and see things better than anyone. We're super safe. No, regular sight. But I work at it a lot. Yeah, that's cool, I guess. <coughs> you like 
like Batman, right? Everyone likes Batman. Yeah, Batman's the best. Well, he doesn't have any superpowers. Yeah, but he's so cool with his suit and his bat gadgets, and he's got the whole his parents died, and that just makes you root for him. Did your parents get shot in alley? No, my parents are alive as well, and thank you very much. Well, look, can I just order my lunch? Oh, sure. I'll have a touchdown chicken wrap. Wait a minute. Got it. And if you ever talk to Captain... Yeah, yeah, I talk to him every day. We're colleagues. Tell him I said cool shield. Yep, I'll tell him that. It's not like he's ever heard of that one before. Hi, sorry to bother you. Yes? Um, the door's been slamming, and we were wondering if we could use your bow as a door jam. Sure. Thank you.
day as Superman, you're pretty predictable. I mean, you have everything. Every party you could ever want, you have. So, I get what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess I'm a little boring. Well, thank you for your time, Sir Clark. I'm sure HR will show you up at the decent 70 package. We wish you the best of luck. Well, <laughs> I mean, not really. You're invincible. Why would you need luck? But, you know. <laughs>
Professor X, Cyclops, Rogue. Beast Muscles! Oh, I mean, Robert, oh, and Wolverine. She is so awesome! Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, he doesn't even have the best powers. Like, you probably have way better powers than he does. Well, I'm going to electrocute you both right now. So, yes, I can't do it. I know, I know. But there's something about Wolverine, right? He, he just so, so cool, like, like, like cool! A lot of people like him, yep. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, um, I'm sorry. I know you're mean and all. It's just, I feel like I may not have another chance to do this. Don't worry, no problem. Do you have a pen? What's Wolverine like in real life? Oh, that's what you wanted to know? It's just, I always imagined him to be angry and ferocious in battle, but afterwards, sensitive and, and um, surprisingly vocal. Yeah, like Ryan Gosling, but with claws and crazy hair. Yeah, um, I don't know. He. They don't want to ruin your illusion, so sure, that's what Wolverine is like. No, come on, that's why we ask. What is he really like? Well, he's kind of a jerk, and not in a good way. He's just a very annoying person. Oh, for example, he never paid for groceries, but oh boy. Title to your yogurt or milk, which by the way, he drinks straight out of the carton and he never leaves the common room. But then we'll have X Men meetings where he's like, Guys, have you noticed how messy it's getting around here? Everyone should do their part. And I'm like, Are you kidding? You never leave, ever. It's one thing to be the messy guy, Beast is pretty messy. Then to have the audacity to call a meeting and blame other people for being messy? Ah, it's just so frustrating. <laughs> yeah, I did. He doesn't tip ever. He says things he doesn't even believe in. Oh, and when we all go out for karaoke, he will sing songs that are like eight minutes long. And he knows he's doing it. He acts like he doesn't, but he does. He'll go up to the mic and be like, hmm, maybe Bohemian Rhapsody again. And I'm like, are you kidding? That song goes on forever. And you're tone deaf. Why? He's lazy and inconsiderate. And he's just the worst. I have to be transferred to the Avengers like six times. But it's really hard to get into. You, you want to be the Avengers? Oh yeah, the Avengers are way better. Plus, they have great benefits and a retirement plan. The X-Men are a mess. Technically, we're a university, but because we're a school for mutants, you can't write off anything, which makes doing taxes a nightmare. And the Avengers, on a practical level, are way better. Way better. Well, thank you so, so much for your time. Aye, aye, aye. Look, guys, we're not really heroes. We're just a bunch of weirdos with super freakish power. You guys really shouldn't idolize us. We, we shouldn't? No, you should idolize people like scientists, doctors, and firemen. Those are the people you, sh you should look up to. People who selflessly make a difference every day in small and big ways. They're the real heroes. Wow, I guess you're right, huh? <coughs> I was just thinking that. I saw the highlights of the Broncos game yesterday. This linebacker hit the quarterback so hard, his chest cavity caved in. Awesome! I wonder what that linebacker's like in real life. No, not football players. We're so much better than... Oh, whatever. <laughs> Miss Ivy, Nellie Woods, assistant editor of the Daily Planet. Thank you for agreeing to speak with me. I thought Perry 
White would be doing this interview. Not so much this year. Mr. White sends his apologies. He's staying with our emergency back at the office. Well, let me go. Some new Superman Expo Day. I tell you, these days all the news is about those pathetic Dukers. It's finally time we've got our side of the story, you know? I couldn't agree more. That's why I believe our readers will love getting to see the real Poison Ivy. The Lady Planet appreciates you treating us such as good news. Shall we begin? Sorry, what? Let's start at the beginning. Shall we? Your childhood and your mother. How do you feel about me? Oh, uh, you know. I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Pretty normal. I had a pretty normal, evil childhood. And how do you say your relationship is now? We have fun a lot. Oh, that's okay. Let's get to the point, shall we? Get to what our readers really want to know. How does Poison Ivy deal with her feelings? Feelings? Well, I mean, you tend to do a lot of mistakes. I wouldn't say a lot. How do you deal with guilt? Right, guilt. Maybe I should get help with that. And why do you say that? Well, sometimes after a caper, I let myself get these feelings. I try not to, but it just happens. I'll say that's pretty normal. I don't want to be normal. Sorry. Poor choice of words. Um, that's expected? Okay. Tell me more. I have this guilt, and I don't know what to do with it. Because of the people you hurt? And the what? No. I feel awful because I feel like I'm not evil enough. What? I could be evil. I could always do more. Keeps me up at Okay. So you think I should get help with that? Maybe get someone to dig around my brain there and fix it? Well, maybe you could just tell your mind you're evil enough. I mean, I know I'm evil. Just the nagging feeling that I could be more evil. Well, maybe I can help. When something's that easy, I just try to forget about it. Forget about what? Your doubts. What doubt? See? It's already working! I don't have doubt. That's because it's working. I don't think this is helping. Well, then, you can always put them back. You put what back? Your bad childhood memories. Your bad adult memories. Your self-loathing. Your fears. Your intense love of plants. And now, your doubts. I don't know what you're talking about, though I am quite done with this plant. Let's talk about that. Plants. It's kind of your thing, huh? I never went to college, and I could 
completely unqualified for anything. So if Batman decides to retire, that's it. Keeps me up at night. I just want to say I'm so thankful for this room, for all of you. Thanks to this psychic support group that I can find my inner strength, my self-worth, to realize that I hang up my tights and put my street clothes on. That to me dies. Oh, poor child. Thank you, Robin. That was very brave of you. Now, who would like to go next? Great. Hi, everyone. I like what you said, Robin, about being my own superhero. I'm going to remember that. Uh, her name is Mike, a.k.a. Aqualad, and the uh, wow. There is nothing more depressing than the upper sidekick. <laughs> Warms my heart.
yourself and why you think you'd be good fit for the adventures. I'm made of eels. Excuse me? I'm completely made of eels. I'm a person, clearly. But I'm also a school of super eels working together to be a superhero. Oh, okay. Um. It's who I am. It's who we are. That's great. Good for you. Let's have powers. Can you fly? Super strength. Right. Those aren't really characteristics of eels. My blood is poisonous. You should never eat eels raw. Preferably cooked in a nice sushi roll with avocado. I don't really see how that would benefit us here at Shield, but I'll keep that in mind. I do love sushi. Thanks for coming in. Leslie, can you send the next candidate? Please let this one be more promising. Hello, I'm Diana. Oh yes, do you prefer Diana, or should I call you Wonder Woman? Honestly, whatever you feel comfortable with. Well, we are a professional superhero organization here at SHIELD, so let's both Wonder Woman. Okay, great. So, tell me why you're interested in joining the Avengers. Well, I've been with the Justice League for a while, and I just wanted to test the water a little bit, see what else is out there. Well, as you know, the Avengers is a very competitive supergroup. We're very popular with these things. I know how hard it is to even get an interview, so thank you for seeing me. That being said, you have a wonderful track record. Glowing recommendations from Bruce Wayne and Martian Manhunter. Let's just review your powers and special skills for a moment, shall we? I just want to make sure we have everything. Okay, great. So you have super strength, speed, agility, stamina. Yep, I don't even go to the gym. I'm just super. Ooh, lucky you. You can fly? Since I was 12, no lessons. Hand to hand combat, healing, that's good. Oh, and it says here you also have a series of, a series of special weapons, like uh, invincible bracelets. Just bracelets? Yep. Yeah. Why not invincible armor for the rest of your body? Why just bracelets? Well, it kind of goes with that outfit. I don't know. I never really thought about it. Okay. And it says here you also have a magic sword and a lasso of truth. And this is a robe that if you ensnare someone in it, it forces them to tell the truth. Oh yeah, never fails. That is a little weird, but I guess I'll follow you. And it says here you also have an invisible jet. Yep, but you can fly. Why do you have an invisible jet? Do you become invisible when you fly it? Nah, everyone can see me. No. What? What is the point of that? It was a gift. I felt bad because it took my friend a really long time to make, so I kept it. But it's super awkward, and I know you guys have your own jet here, so I'd probably never use it if you guys hired me. Well, look, I have a few other prospective adventures to meet, but I'll give you a mind. Thank you so much. I really love your work here. All right. Oh, and one last thing. Your uniform with the tiara and American flag baby. How attached are you to that? Well, it's kind of my thing, so I would say attached. Is that a deal breaker? No, not necessarily. I mean, we already have one red, white, blue superhero, but we'll keep that one. Thanks for coming in. Invisible Jet, why? <coughs> Loves the bad guys. 
I mean, there are three times the number of fans here in the villain section than all the other heroes combined. I mean, the Joker even has an entire floor of the convention center to himself. But you're super popular too. Right. About that water. I'm on it. And some of that's prison. Don't want to be here all night. Yes, ma'am. Right this way. Thanks. <laughs>
the insurance is really expensive. <laughs> People want to kill you and your significant other or blow up your apartment. It's hard to keep your identity a secret. Invisible bees. That all sounds great. And one day a kid shows up wanting to be a superhero, but you don't know what to say. Yes. Go ahead. Be a superhero. It's easy. You're just flying stuff. Go at it. Really? Totally. And if someone drops you into a volcano, it only hurts a little. Gee, thanks. You're my favorite. How about that photo now? Sure. Thank you. I can't with these kids. <laughs> I mean, I don't understand why you aren't the leader of X-Men. 
You are by far the most qualified superhero, and your powers are super good. Thank you. I mean, you can summon tornadoes at the moment's notice. How do they not realize how amazing that is? Girl, I have no idea. Like, you can control the weather. Now that's a crazy power. You know, I remind Professor X that, literally, every time we go into battle, but then he's like, nah, let's just send in Wolverine. Oh my god, he's so limited. I heard he's a nightmare to work with. Have you ever thought of, uh, starting your own group? Wait, what? You're on the Avengers. Why would you leave them? Oh no, I would never leave the Avengers. Like, they're not perfect, but the benefits are great. Christmas bonuses and all, you know? But doesn't it ever get to you, the in-between stuff, when we're not planning? You mean the weird entitled fans? Yes, I would love to vent about them. And just everyday life, sometimes at night's too quiet. Oh, girl, I know exactly what you're talking about. I have an app on my phone that plays explosion noises to help me go to sleep. That is so smart. Could you send me that? Yeah, I got you, girl. But, I don't know, what if we start a new group? Like, the support group the sidekick started. But we wouldn't let sidekicks in our group. Oh, no. No, 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 no. It'd just be for bona fide superheroes. <laughs> well, yeah, we could be into something like that. I don't know if you want to keep talking about it, but... Yeah, sure. You want to go grab dinner or something? Yeah, I know it's a place where no one really bothers me by. Awesome! Oh my god, oh my god! You're Hawkeye, right? Of the Avengers? That's me! And you're smart? Yep, I am. Hawkeye, do you have the pen? We have just one thing we want to ask. Yeah, it's been killing us. Okay. What is it? Is Robin going to be Batman's sidekick? We heard he was so depressed he doesn't want to do it anymore. If so, would he be looking for a replacement? We would love for the opportunity to be a sidekick. He's so cool. Now the one time I want them to ask me for my autograph. I know. So, how about Wednesday evening? Could we meet then? Sure. Awesome. How come she wouldn't answer my question? Good, superheroes are kind of true. Did somebody say Aquaman? <laughs> no, he didn't say that. At all. No. Oh, well, do you have any questions for me? Or... No, we're good. Okay, so... My sidekick just quit. Again. Maybe you guys might want to, you know. Um, so... I have a science project. Yeah, it's like a really big grade, so let's like get going. Yeah, so. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Study up. The world needs more scientists. Gosh, my life is depressing. Maybe I should have just went to law school. Is that a 50 cent piece? Not bad, Aquaman. Not bad. <laughs> 